very exciting. <laughs> I was gonna say happy Monday. Happy Tuesday! It's the start of a new weekly vlog. Um, make sure you're strapped in because this is gonna be a busy, hectic, crazy, um, slightly sad week. <laughs> no, not sad, like a good kind of sad, you know? Not like a bad kind of sad. Yes, it is Tuesday. I didn't do any vlogging yesterday. We're starting the weekly vlog off on Tuesday, which is really quite okay because I have so much, like so much stuff planned for this week that I feel like one less day is gonna be good because it's gonna be too long at that point, you know? I just came back from running errands. I picked up some things for my apartment. I went to the flower market and I got some baby's breath and I got some sunflowers and I'm gonna put them in my vases that I have. I went to Burlington and I got some pillows. I needed more pillows on my couch. So I got these two and then I got pillows for my bed and some pillowcases. Honestly, like I'm just trying to make sure that everything in here is ready to go because I'm filming my fully furnished apartment tour tomorrow. So I wanna just make sure everything in here is a one, you know? So I'm about to open up what I bought. I hate pillows when they still have the tag on them. So annoying. This is the pillow. It has like a metallic looking finish, but it's really soft. Gold, like a champagne gold color. And you know, it just fits my whole aesthetic that I have going on in here. Yeah. Bought these. This pillow is so flat. this whole space for me honestly I have a couple of vases I have this one that looks like a little face that I don't have any flowers in yet um, shall anyway so ooh, so pretty aren't those so pretty and I could sit right on my table and where do I want to put these I low-key want to put them in this vase behind me that has the fake flowers in it I have this vase I think this one would be better. This is so much baby's breath and it's too tall. Okay, I'm gonna just cut it. That's better. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Okay, so I got the sunflowers and this beautiful, well, I already put water in here actually. I need to put water in that one. I have them in this beautiful vase and it's just, it adds such beautiful color to my dining room table, <laughs> my dining space, my dining area. I love this vase. I got it in the flower market as well. It was $14. So freaking cute. Why do I have six pillows on my bed? <laughs> the next thing that I'm buying is like a really plush um, comforter. And that's because I want like that really, and I, I'm going to get a duvet and all of that stuff. I want that really like fluffy, like hotel look vibe for my bed. But it's just so hot in LA right now. Like really, this entire summer has just been so hot. It don't even make sense to go and buy that right now because I'm not going to be able to use it. I'm going to literally be pulling it off of my bed every single night. But that is what I want. I want that really fluffy vibe. I mean, it is really comfy right now. I'm not even going to lie. But... I just want it to look very like fluffy. Like I don't know how they do it in hotels. I need to like start working at a hotel so I can figure out that secret because I feel like that is so hard to achieve. Y'all know when you go on vacation and you pull up to the room, you open the door, and the first thing you look at is the bed and you just fall onto the bed and the bed is just so comfy and you just melt into it. It's like the pillows, the comforter, the duvet, the sheets, everything is just like so plush. I want that exact same feeling, but at home. Like that is luxury to me. Like I need that, that kind of luxury in my every single day. So that's what I'm working on right now. But 
little by little because um buying stuff for your bed is very expensive okay between the actual bed itself like the mattress and a bed frame and stuff just simply like a good thread count for your sheets very expensive a good thread count for your pillows and your comforter and all that stuff not cheap okay so i'm trying to figure out what how i want to go about it but that's what's next okay i don't know what i'm gonna do with this i'm gonna just put that right here for right now or i'll put it back here <gasps> so pretty and there's georgie in the window eleanor's over here and patricia's right there all my little plant babies i actually have a video that i need to edit and schedule to upload for tomorrow's upload for wednesday's upload so that's what i'm gonna be working on for the rest of the day and then i know i'm going out later um so maybe I'll vlog when I'm getting ready. Hopefully I give myself enough time to where I'm not rushing and I can actually vlog it because I've been going out a lot recently, but I feel like I haven't gotten ready with you guys like vlog style, you know, like singing and dancing along in a minute. So hopefully I can get my work done and have like some time to rest and then start to get ready when I'm supposed to get ready. I also need to figure out what I'm doing with my hair. I'm, I'm not gonna put a wig on, but I might straighten it I might blow it out and then straighten it. Yeah, there's that. Because, well, this definitely has to get washed. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to be working on right now. And I'll see you guys later. Hello, vloggy vlog. Happy Wednesday. You guys, I've had such a productive. Why did I say productive with so much emphasis? I've had such a productive day. I got all of the things. That's a lie. There's one thing that I still need to do, which is eat. Um, but I'm about to go do that right now. I don't know what I want to eat, but I'm going to just go outside and I'm going to find something. Because I'm really hungry. I have no food. I don't feel like cooking. I'm not going to cook, actually, because as you guys know, I'm moving. I don't know if I told you that, but I'm moving on Saturday. And I don't want to like make any more dishes like I'm it's gonna be takeout until Saturday And then when I unpack all my stuff, I'm gonna go food shopping again. I cleaned the crap out of my apartment I just finished um, Filming my fully furnished apartment tour. It is so clean in here like you could eat off the floor That's how clean it is. I wouldn't though, but you could if you wanted to you know like <laughs> um, I have on my a J sculpt fitness waist trainer I don't have the band on I just have the trainer on and my good karma cropped tea I'm about to go get me some food. I did my hair last night on live. I know I was supposed to um get ready i've been doing a terrible job at vlogging but i was on live for two hours yesterday i did my hair and my makeup and then i went out and the party i went to i didn't enjoy myself because it was not the kind of music i wanted to hear at all but it was still like uh it was cute i guess i mean i don't know but yeah so i didn't vlog yesterday um when i was getting ready but honestly like i need to make it up to you guys because i feel like I don't know what's been going on as of recent in my vlogs, but they've just kind of been all over the place. But that's because I have like so many things like underway right now. I feel like I'm just trying to catch my breath, honestly. So I have to start packing tomorrow. Um, I don't have any boxes right now, so I can't really start packing tonight. I should have started packing already, but I'm going to do everything Thursday and Friday and hopefully... By the time Saturday comes around, I will be ready to go. Cause we're moving! I don't think I told you that I'm moving, you guys. I don't think I told you. I feel like I didn't. I'm moving. Um, I'm very, 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 very excited. I, it, it hasn't fully hit me yet. And I think it's going to fully hit me like once I'm in the new space. But uh, I'm just so nervous. Like, I'm nervous. But let me show you how skinny a girl is looking. When you guys see my um, fully furnished apartment tour, you're going to recognize this outfit because it's literally what I was wearing. But like, <laughs> why I look so snatched out? Uh, like, your girl looks skinny. <laughs> it's the, um, the tiny waist for me, honestly. 
Um, I'm about to throw my Gucci slides on and go get food though. And I'm bringing you guys with me because I haven't brought you guys anywhere. Like, come on, let's go get food. You guys, I got my food. Um, I decided, decided to get some Benny Hibachi. Yummy. I got fried rice, filet mignon, and shrimp with veggies. And then I got a peach lychee iced tea boba with lychee and boba in it. And I'm just about to tear this shit up. And I'm on FaceTime with Chai. Hello. Um, so you're gonna have people um, come in in a truck. Yeah. They have, they're bringing a truck and two movers. And then to be honest, I want to sell my table, um, but I also am curious as to how it will look in the space. But I'm like, I don't really feel like I need it. I remember yeah. I was telling you I wanted a, I want a computer desk, and then I'll just use the stools. I don't feel like I need a dining room table. Yeah, because you have a bar. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I want to sell that. But I also kind of want to see what it will look like in the apartment, the new one. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, it, I mean, it's not going to cost extra for, for them to move it. But when it's time to get rid of it, it'll probably be hard. I don't know if it's one of those pieces of furniture that can be taken apart after it's put together. Mm -hmm. You know how, like, you can't do that with Ikea furniture? I want to take this waist trainer off. Why am I eating with it on? The food is just going to start. Right. Yourself, That's literally it. what it's doing. I need to take it off. So much better. <sighs> <laughs> you know, I don't even think they have late night anything over here, honestly. Mm. Different. Well, it was like you walk in and they had it all. Um, it was so good, though. Vloogie vlog! Happy Thursday! It's Thursday! My voice sounds a little raspy. I don't know what's going on this morning. <laughs> I need a, um, I want a smoothie. I want a protein smoothie. I'm probably gonna get one actually. Um, I'm about to head to the post office. Um, I'm gonna bring that red bag that's behind me. I got some Destiny Shop orders to ship out. I got clean clothes on my bed. Um, but I have some orders to ship out, so I'm about to go do that so I can get that out of the way for today. And then I'm also going to go pick up boxes so I can start packing. Um, I, uh, I'm a little overwhelmed as to what to start with, so I think I'm going to start with, like, the kitchen just so I can, like, get the hard stuff out of the way. So I need to get, like, boxes. I know I need duct tape. I need Sharpies. And I need like bubble wrap or some kind of like paper to wrap my dishware in. I have this pimple on my face that just won't let me live. <laughs> She's just like right there, like, just like, why? Like, why me? But it's okay. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm about to go do right now. Hello, vlog. Guess who got her boxes? Me. Look, they're all over here. Hold on, let me turn the light on. Mad boxes. So I got five medium size. I went to Staples. I got five medium, I got five small, five large, and then I got two like extra large. Um, so I'm hoping that 17 boxes is enough. Hopefully I don't need to go back and get any more because I really don't want to. This was a lot to carry. And I got some bubble wrap, and then I also got, uh, what's in here? Oh, I got Sharpies, and I got some duct tape, some packing tape. I think I'm going to start in the kitchen. Um, yeah, the kitchen or maybe my closet. I don't even know, honestly, but I need to start somewhere. <laughs> I need to start somewhere. I want to start with Chinese. Hi. <gasps> Um, yeah, so I'm about to just prop you guys up and put my music back on and get to it. Oh.
classes, making some progress. Mona's here helping. Guys, we had to stop. I had to stop and get food. You know how hungry I was? I was literally starving. Mona was starving. I had no water in the crib. I was being a very bad host. So, we're at your house. Hi. Uh, my name is Omar. We take care of today. Can we start off with water and lemon, please? Water and lemon? Yes. Okay. Yes, please. So I got the spinach dip, and I got the sunset sangria, and Mona got chicken lettuce wrap, and what was your drink again? Oh, a Long Island? No, no. Look how happy she looks. <laughs> Hello, vloggy vlog. Happy Friday. It's Friday. Yo, it's motherfucking Friday, okay? Um, I'm very excited because Today, I get to pick up my keys for my new apartment. Ah! Very exciting! <laughs> um, that's what I'm about to go do right now, actually. I got Chinese on FaceTime, you know, beak. <laughs> um, what's new? Um, but I'm about to go pick up my keys for my new apartment. Ah! Um, I also have to finish packing today because I officially move out tomorrow. Tomorrow's a big day. We're less than 24 hours away from move out. And I'm very overwhelmed, but very excited. So I'm about to go get some Starbucks and then I'm going to go pick up my keys. Um, and my like lease and everything, you know, and just bask in the moment of my new apartment. I don't think I'm gonna show you guys in this vlog, but definitely then the vlog after that, um, you <laughs> will be in a new place. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> We're gonna be in a new spot. Yes. Yeah, so, um, very exciting, you know. That's what I'm about to go do right now. You guys, I'm at Broken Shaker, um, that little rooftop that I'm, I've been to before. And I'm with Rafiq. Say hi. Hey guys, what's poppin'? My curious twin, his birthday is the day before mine. Um, I literally hit him up and I was like, can we please do lunch because I'm so hungry. Um, and I have no food in my house, but that's because I'm moving, so. I'm thinking, I'm definitely gonna get a, a cocktail. I want to do the fish tacos. Oh, they have carne asada fries? Okay, maybe those two. Saturday. It is officially moving day. I'm moving out of my apartment. Look, everything is freaking boxed up. Getting boxed up, bubble wrapped up, taped up, and ready to go. Um, I had such a stressful morning. Literally, I woke up at like 7 a.m. And started like you know getting things in order just making sure that I have like all the bathroom stuff grouped up together and closet and bedroom and kitchen and whatever and my movers that I scheduled to be here um, for 9 30 a.m. and it was like 8 a.m. when I got this text canceled on me I had two movers scheduled and like the biggest truck that they have um, I used this app called Dolly and they literally canceled on me an hour and a half before they were supposed to be here saying that they're not going to come anymore and I was freaking out like I literally had a panic attack because I was just like I don't have a choice but to be out of this apartment by today and like how am I going to find movers like so last minute I booked this 
like I scheduled my movers like over a week ago and it's Saturday like I was just like I'm not gonna be able to find anyone <sighs> so what what did I do like any other young 20 something year old I called up my mom <laughs> I was like, mom, I'm freaking out. Like literally I was freaking out because I was just like, what am I gonna do? I also got like really upset at the freaking moving company. Um, and I was just like, this isn't fair. Like you guys shouldn't allow people to do this to someone like so last minute day of, like as I'm, you know, preparing to move, you're telling me you're not gonna come anymore. Like that's really unprofessional. Um, I was just really upset so she was like just look for like last minute moving companies and I was able to find one that's located in downtown LA and have them come at 12 instead so we're still moving of course I got to get out of here but um it was just really stressful like I had to run to Staples and I had to get more boxes because I didn't have enough boxes I had to get more tape because I ran out of the two rolls of packing tape that I bought. Like, just too much. There was way too much going on. It's okay because everything got sorted out and the movers, the new moving truck is on its way. Um, they should be here in like 30 minutes. So I'm just like finishing up. I have some last things to just get in order. Um, but everything is like pretty much packed which I'm happy about like literally it was like everything that could have gone wrong was going wrong that's literally like what happened and I just wanted to like break down and start crying to be honest and I'm not even like someone who does that but like when you feel like I I know I can attest to when I feel like things are out of my control that bothers me more things that are in my control and going wrong but like when something's out of my control and I have no say as to why it's happening or how it happens like that bothers me so much like it stresses me out so much because I'm just like why I didn't plan for this but you know what it happens life happens so I'm just glad that I was able to get other movers to come because I don't know what I would have done I was just like how like literally how like how am I gonna do this how like how will I do this I'm all moved out, ready to level up, move up. So I just want to, this, this is like really bittersweet actually. Put it down one last time. followed me um, up until this point then you know the journey that I've taken and um, with new blessings come newer levels to be achieved I'm just feeling very overwhelmed right now but I'm also very excited for the future so thank you guys so much for watching just watching my content and just like really 
being so in tune with me and, and what I put out for you guys. I really do appreciate it so much and I love you guys so much. Don't forget you are smart, you are beautiful and people love you, I love you. You know that that's like my positive affirmation that I like to tell to you guys like all the time. And yeah, I'm just like really excited for the future. <laughs> I can't believe that this is actually happening, but like, yeah, I've been here for one year. It's actually less than a year. It's gonna be a year in like two weeks, but been here for a year and it's just super bittersweet. So yeah, I gotta go though. So I'll see you at the new spot, um, but that's gonna be in the, the next video. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then make sure you give it a huge thumbs up down below. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, all that fun stuff. We about to hit 100K. I love you guys. And yeah, don't forget you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you, and I can't wait to see you on my next upload. Come on,